Growing up, I always knew this was here for me. For Jack Mitchell, becoming a mortician was in his blood. His great, great, great uncle started Mitchell Wielefeld Funeral Home way back in 1837. It's one of the oldest funeral homes in Baltimore and has a rich history. Mitchell says it takes a special kind of person to handle the job. After all, funeral directors are with families during life's toughest times. And as families grieve, compassion fatigue can set in. Day in, day out, we're being compassionate, we're taking care of others, and they're going through such a difficult time. It does wear on us eventually, sometimes, and we have to take care of us. It's a service that will never go out of business, but it's changing. Traditionally, funeral homes like this one are family owned and mostly operated by men. But across town, you'll see proof that things are different. Today, we are talking about tissue folder. This is Mortuary Science 106, the embalming chemistry class on the Catonsville campus of Baltimore Community College. It's one of the top programs in the nation, and women make up 72% of those enrolled at this school. Nationwide stats, according to the American Board of Funeral Service Education, also show women are taking over. In 2000, 51% of students enrolled nationwide were women. By 2017, 66% nationwide enrolled were women. Women bring a unique perspective to funeral service. Women in general are considered more nurturing. The field is also seeing diversity in age and race. Many of these students have other degrees and some are working on a second career. Interest in becoming a mortician runs the gamut. I love reconstructive art, like people who've had like serious traumas or illnesses, being able to like really bring that person back to who they were before everything happened. Charlene Belton is going back to school after 50 years. She used to work with families to secure funeral insurance. People coming in ahead of time making arrangements for their funerals while they're living, um, telling me, you know, if they like hats, they want to make sure their hats are at the funeral. If they're fishing, they want to make sure their rods at, at the, you know, there at the service. Um, and, and then we, I would take pictures of them while they're living. So all those things, as I was talking to the individual, I said, well, I need to be a funeral director to make sure all these things happen. It's a misunderstood craft, often made light of in sitcoms and movies. The thought of working with the dead can creep people out, but there's honor in what these men and women are working to achieve. One of the nicest compliments we can receive is um, when the family goes in the room to see their loved one for the first time and they come out and they say, oh my God, he looks as good as he did before he got sick. Although students at Baltimore County Community College have a rigorous course load full of biology, embalming chemistry, restorative art, and must pass the national state exam before becoming official, once complete, they're able to provide the final service every single one of us will likely one day receive. Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News. <laughs>